again. I hope you have your tablespoons ready. I'm just going to sort of review what we did last time. We did a very simple uh, lesson on playing the spoons. And um, here's what I suggested. I suggested for you to get some tablespoons and uh, make sure the tablespoons have a wider stem at the top rather than narrow. Uh, also put the spoon about halfway on the stem on your top of your index finger. Take the other spoon and put it under your index finger halfway so the two spoons meet together this way. Use your second and third finger to keep those spoons against your palm of your hand. And we learned some basic moves on our spoons. We know that our spoons make a different sound. It's like a clapping sound when you cup your hand over the, the bowl of the spoon. If you hit the tip of the spoon, there's a, a different sound to it. So you can... All right, we learned uh, three basic uh, patterns for playing the spoon. One is just, just keeping a beat, just like you would with your foot when you listen to music, you kind of tap your foot just like that. That was one simple, that's the simplest little beat you can do. You can do that with any tune, any song, reels, jigs, doesn't matter, waltzes, you could do that. And I also taught you a second pattern, which is doubling the, the pattern, which is instead of going one, two, three, uh, is, well, let, let me count it this way. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. I'm hitting on a one, three. You could hit on one, two, three, four, one. That's what I mean by doubling the pattern. Here's one. Double. And I also taught you to Double that by just using your palm above to kind of uh, double even that. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And that's what I taught you last time. I also taught you that you can, while you're playing the music, you can uh, alternate and roll your hand. Kind of a, you know, I just add a little visual, um, uh, something visual that people enjoy, you will enjoy also. I also taught you how to bring the spoons back together if they wander apart by cupping your hand and, or even skipping one of the beats. See, right now, my spoons are apart. So I, instead of going one, two, three, four, I go one, two, three, four, one, two. See, I can adjust the spoons while I'm playing a pattern. Or you can cup your hand this way, and when you bring the spoons up, they automatically align up if I just kind of give them a little help. All right, we taught, we learned that last week. We played along with a, a reel. One was quite, uh, well, it's St. Anne's reel, which I found a slow version of it. And uh, so we'll, uh, we'll warm up right now to that reel. So I'm going to um, put it on and we'll warm up to it. 
Okay. So let's take our spoons, put them on our fingers, give it a test drive. All right. Now here we go. This is a warm up before our more advanced session. Okay. Remember, we start on the third note of the song. Ba da. And then we start our spoons. That's double. Very simple, very easy, right? Now let's do our hands. See if we can roll. what we learned last time. This time I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you the um, pattern that goes two times on your knee, once on your in your palm. One, two, palm, one, two, palm, one, two, palm, one, two. When you hear spoons playing with reels and jigs, that's what they usually, that's what you usually hear. It's, it sounds like a horse galloping. That's a pattern that's used very often with reels. So that's what we're going to learn. And uh, it's two, one, two, palm, one, two, palm, one, two, palm, one. So let's, um, let's practice that together. Okay? I will count to four, and then it'll be one, two, palm, one. Okay, so we all start together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, palm, one, two, palm, one, two, palm, one, two, palm, one, two. All right. Let's try that with the slow version of St. Anne's Reel. I'll try to help you out here in a second. Give me a chance. One, two, five. One. It's still too fast. One two pound, one two pound, one two pound. Seems a little fast, isn't it? <laughs> one two pound, one two pound, one two pound. I'll tell you what. Let me stop this. It's uh, even that is uh, kind of fast for beginners, maybe. So, let's go. Duh, I'll sing it. I'm not going <laughs> to sing very well, but add your spoons in there. It'll sound better. Ba da 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 da. One two pom. One two pom. Da 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 da. Da da do 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 Okay, let's go back and see if we can't learn that pattern. Some people have no problems with that pattern and some people they have problems <laughs> they, they can't get their um, their hand uh, sort of uh, uh, their palm in there in the right place they don't know when to put it but it's just two down and then it's Make the sound of a horse galloping. Yeah, that would be. So let's try it with this. Let's add some variety. Let's take our top palm off. And back on. Off. Off. Let's add it in. Let's roll the hand.
going to show you the, another technique. It's called raking. Now, this will this will will be the harder uh, of the two lessons that I have today, and I will show you the technique for that. What you need to do is to put your hand down at an angle this way and spread your fingers apart. So while you're playing, you turn your hand this way, spread your fingers apart and rake the spoons across, hit, the, hit your top finger here and rake across the rest of them down to your knee. So it's So it's So let's practice that at that slow speed together. We'll go, they go, let's see, we'll go, uh, we'll count on here, on the knee will be one, two, three, four. I'll hit up here and then right down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So here's what I'll do. I think that'll be the easiest way is to I'll count to four. We'll do four of these. And after four, we'll start four again, but we'll go four, uh, we'll start one, two, two. Two is raking those three fingers. And your slap on the knee. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, Four. So let's try that. We'll do first of all we'll do our four on the on the knee. One, two, three, four. 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 Four. If you don't make a good sound, there are a couple things you have to remember. I used to put my hand like this. Fingers are very loose, so I don't get any sound. You have to spread your fingers and you have to keep them stiff. Because then Spreading your fingers gives you a sound on every one of them. If you keep them loose, you don't get much sound off the fingers. They're just kind of rolling over them and not snapping. So the trick is to not to have your hand straight up and down vertical, but to have your hand this way so that you can rake across them like this. So when you're playing, and remember when I said roll, that would be a good time to do it. You roll, you spread your fingers, make them stiff. One, two, three, four. So let's try that a couple times again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Four. See, my, see, I didn't have my spoons in the right place. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you can do it. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, 
One, two, one, two. After practice, you'll get it. It just requires practice. Let me play the uh, St. Anne's reel just a little bit, and we'll just do this. There. So let's just do St. Anne's reel. Okay, ready? Let's do one, one, two, three, four. Great. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, together again. I'll count to four. We'll start again. One, two, three, four. One, two. I'm going to go to my, my spoons. It breaks so much nicer here. All right, let's do this again for practice. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the one, two, one, Da 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 Do the, the galloping horse. And then when I say we're going to rake, I'm going to count to four. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, rake. 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 Okay, I'm going to do that with the music. Let's start trotting the horse.
Much easier with these. Easier on the hand. Yes. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, contact me. Don will put my phone number or email address. I can even sit with you and uh, work with you uh, privately if you want to. Uh, you could even start a little group of spoons in the area. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do the harmonica piece. Uh, it's an Irish tune. It's quite fast, but uh, we'll start off with just the basic one that we learned from the beginning, which is okay. Then we'll double that. And uh, I'm going to use my other spoons here. So here we go. simple instrument can bring so much joy. Thank you for your time. <laughs>